Greetings and salutations, everybody. Here we are again for another episode of Swarter, also known as Star Wars The Old Republic. We're going to get straight into it today by starting our second trial. I'm going to try and keep episodes as much as I can to the 20 minute mark. And I'm going to try and film a few back to back for you so you have plenty of material to watch. In the coming days. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now my marker says I'm not facing the right way, I gotta go up here. It's funny while I was setting up I've got all these uh, new players coming up and going, Oh wow, you're so cool looking at level six. How did you manage that? I need to know your secret. Give me all your gear. And I'm like, I've been playing this game since it first came out. Uh, that's why I have the gear I have. And that's why I'm decked out like this at such an early level. Still getting used to the controls. <laughs> falling around, falling over myself and stuff. Oh, nearly did it again. Wish it wasn't so responsive. I like it when it's a more, bit more sluggish. Well, now it's saying to go downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, the amount of gear I've got, I've accumulated over years of playing this game. Um, and basically spending quite a bit of my spare change on buying gear off the marketplace. Uh, don't want to be in the cantina. Try that again. Now, um, hang on, let's open the map, let's do this properly. Where are you? Okay, you're in one of the antechambers down there, so I'll go through here, near the canteen, and then down into there. Gotcha, okay. Right, let's get this done. I'm gonna stumble over myself. Title of the episode, I'm Rambling and Stumbling. That's gonna bring a lot of you back, isn't it? Here we go, nice green door. Yes, the fatty. Hey, fatty, I need to speak to you. Acolyte, you've arrived. And not a moment too soon. Hakan has given me very specific instructions. You were raised as a slave, but must discard those traits and learn to control others. And I have just the task for that end. Meet this driveling excuse for an acolyte. He will be your victim. Victim, huh? This sounds like it could be fun. This is not an idle diversion, Acolyte. A short while ago, there was what we call an unauthorized murder here in the Academy. A rivalry among apprentices resulted in death. Interrogate him. Make him tell you who committed this crime at any cost. Cover your ears. This may get a little loud. Thank you for the warning, but I prefer to cherish every scream. There's a man dedicated to his work. In our world, he probably work for the church. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know where you live, but where I live, there's a lot of priests running scared from the law at the moment. Anyway, back to a galaxy far, far away. Please, don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Wrong answer. Scream, weakling. I want to hear your suffering. Please, don't do that again. I'll do anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What Cut. shouldn't I do again? <laughs> Stop! Please! <laughs> All right, I'll talk. You'll kill me, but I'll talk. The murderer is an apprentice named Essor Kayan. You have to protect me, or he'll kill me. I doubt that. He'll be too busy being punished for murder. Kayan's master is a dark council member. Might as well try fighting the Emperor himself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cain won't get so much as a reprimand. But when Cain finds out, he'll come after me. What exactly does this have to do with me? Of course, it's not your problem. Why should you care? Maybe if I'm lucky, Cain will put me out quickly. Eh, like I care. I'm an evil son of a bitch. <laughs> there you go. What are you gonna say about that, Porky? You don't have to tell me. I heard the name loud and clear, though I sorely wish I hadn't. S or Cain? Cain's master is a dark council member. I'd be a fool to oppose him. But anyway, your trial here is done. I will send my commendations to Overseer Harkin. You may return to him now. What are you going to do about the murderer? Nothing, although the apprentice's master will have to be informed. It's not my business to dispense justice, certainly not where the Dark Council is concerned. You're a coward, Inquisitor. I am a living Sith. I intend to remain that way. Concern for matters that are not your business is a weakness that will get you killed. I suggest you eliminate this undesirable trait as quickly as possible and forget about this acolyte. So you're just going to let yourself be bullied? And what would you suggest? I don't have the power to oppose a dark council member, and neither do you. Still, there has to be something you can do. You are persistent, aren't you? Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to keep him here while the master of the murdered apprentice pursues justice. Perhaps they can be made to believe that the acolyte hasn't been broken yet. Oh, I'm pushing any further. It has been most pleasant watching you work, acolyte. Truly, I wish you the best of luck in your remaining trials. Alright, so now we go back to that sniveling worm, Harkin. And you see the... the contempt dribbling out of me. That guy in front's what they're supposed to look like at my level. <laughs> Here we go. Well, well, well. I had been looking forward to cutting another one of you down, but it looks like I'll be spared the trouble. Unsurprisingly, Nylock has gone missing. Also, unsurprisingly, Fon has passed his first trial. It's only a matter of time before he tramples you all underfoot. I'll tear you apart where you stand, slave. Oh, shut Patience, up. Fon. <laughs> An accident in the tombs is much more convincing. He's now like a lot of you know Joffrey. your next task. Go. <laughs> I want to speak to Fon. I can't wait to kill him. Now, slave. Zin says you handled yourself expertly, and as much as I find this difficult to believe, Lord Zash is satisfied with his evaluation. Undoubtedly, Zin helped you in some way, but you will not have his help on the next trial. Both you and Fon will have trials of intellect, trials that test your ability to apply your understanding of the Force to solve problems. You don't expect a slave to be a match for me in intellect. I've been trained under the greatest teachers. Calm down, Fon. I certainly do not expect this slave to be a match for you. That's why you will have separate trials. You don't need to dumb down the trials for me. Oh, I'm sure Fawn would appreciate the help. You're only digging your own grave. Fawn, you will go to the library on the second floor of the Academy and translate the following texts for Lord Zash. Yes, Overseer. Slave, deep in the ancient, monster-infested tomb of Marker Ragnos, there is a holocron filled with dark secrets and encased in a great stone monument. No one has figured out how to release the Holocron from its stone prison in over a thousand years. You will bring this Holocron to me, or you will die. 
What's this? Well, it beats going to the library, I suppose. Spoken like the idiot you are. You will bring back the Holocron, or hope that the spirit of Mark Ragnos himself returns to end your miserable existence. Now go. Oh, looky what just happened. Level 7. Something I forgot to do in the uh, first couple of episodes is I've got this little fella down here who I'll activate right now. Oh, yeah, over here. Hey, hey. Hey, Hut. How's it going, Huddy? Huh? Um, he doesn't seem to be working for me. Why is this? Uh, maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. I got level 3 Thrash. Oh, in insufficient level. Cheek. And shock. Why is that saying insufficient level? That's just weird. Must be some sort of a uh, glitch. Oh, well, see you later, hubby boy. No, I'm back in there now. Um, we need to pull up the inventory because we got to do this. Time to make my lightsaber just a little bit more excitable. Angus. Much better. At least until I get to level 10. Now, according... According, oh, hang on a sec, that's unlocked. We wouldn't want any accidents. Now I've got to go to the lower wilds. Up to it, up to it. Dooby dooby doo, dooby doo. <laughs> Guess who's lost again? I swear, there was a time where I knew this map inside out. Now, I feel like I let you guys down a little last time. I did a few things just out of habit, and I didn't explain what I was doing. This thing here, this is a marker. Once you activate it, you can teleport back to that marker from um, other places using your quick travel icon down next to me, little hut friend. I don't know if you can see the cursor. I usually get the cursor out of there. First box... First square, little round blippy thing, just in case you couldn't see it. Oh look, side quest. Very fun side quest. Get some action going on here. Stand and account for yourself, Acolyte. Let's see what you're made of. I look at you and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal? Or do you hide treason in your heart? What a stupid question. Defiance of authority is a hallmark of the immature and the subversive. I recommend you reconsider your attitude. There is one threat our Empire must remain forever vigilant against. Those within our own ranks who undermine and weaken us. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. We've watched as the traitors scuttle about this valley and plot against us. We know their faces and their names. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. 
prove your allegiance by executing them. It will be a great honor to serve you, my lord. And in serving me, you serve the Emperor. Remember that as you exterminate those vermin in the valley. I'll give you the means to identify the traitors. Eliminate enough of them to prove your loyalty. Then return to Inquisitor Arzanen. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Go now. See that the Emperor's will be done. In other words, we'll just go over here and kill a bunch of traders and earn some quick XP towards level 8. Sounds good. I thought I did. Let's take up a commanding position. Now, I think I've got a little... There we go. Let's scan this little bastard right down here first. Can't see the target. Oh. Uh, there we go. How about now? Oh, who's got a go on? Burn, baby. Oh, he fell down, man. Boom. Let's scan his little Vegemite friend here. He's not a traitor. Oh, it looks like someone else found another traitor. Scan away. Oh. Effect condition. Oh. Let's do these two over here. Oh yeah? Take that. Well, where that came from? How about you, buddy? Come at me, bro. Show me your aggressive feelings. Oh, no. Wise. Yeah, it's not every day you get approached by someone that's a Darth Vader wannabe. So hard to find acolytes to scan around here. Oh, and the ones to the left are not traitors. Hey, he wasn't a traitor for me. Cheater. Oh, this dude. Hey, buddy. Can still while I scan you. Ooh, you're a traitor. Step back, bro. So, traitor to the Emperor. Shocking. So shocking. And down he goes. Am I done? Well, I need one more. Sometimes you can glitch it. <laughs> oh, look, he's a traitor after all. Boom! You will not serve the Emperor. You shall die. Easy XP, that's what I say. Easy XP. I watched you deal with those traitors. Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Hey, Take look this at me. reward as a token of the Emperor's favor. And wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our Empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. Oh, we are an evil Empire. You know, evil people with evil agendas. I'm gonna take the 
transport now down to the lower wilds and this episode will come to a conclusion um that's where Trouble I want to it's a very pretty game for anyone that's a Star Wars fan just looking around at all the ships in the air and the planets up there and stuff very very nice I'm still to this day impressed by it ooh lag my apologies oh, well that is interesting it seems I've come to the other area up oh, another one of these we'll just sap on that well this is interesting. Normally, you don't start here. You start somewhere else. Oh, I thought I could make it, but I couldn't. Look <laughs> at this little jail crawler. What did he? That's not my best angle. Oh, uh, there's no such thing as a... Oh, uh, look, that's a good angle. I like that angle. We'll say goodbye here. With the sign behind me. Get my little pet out. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we're going to leave this episode here. It's been 21 minutes. I'm going to continue straight away with another episode where we continue our third trial. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. If you liked the episode, please like. If you didn't, please thumbs down it. Give me some criticism. Give me some feedback. Whatever you want to do, I'm happy to receive it all. And if you like the episode you've just watched enough, maybe you could think about subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Just a reminder that when I get 25 subscribers, um, those 25 subscribers will be in the running for a $20 cash card for Steam. And that will just enough to get you H1Z1 or Rust or whatever other game you want to. It'll be your cash. Do what you want with it. Anyway, guys, for now, it's uh, Jamata. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye-bye.